My name is Ernie Holt, and uh, we're at Cafe Calabria in the North Park District of San Diego, and we're here in our cafe where we also roast coffee. We do all of our roasting in a room adjacent to the cafe, and uh, everything kind of under one roof. Cafe Calabria was started in 1991 at uh, Grossmont Hospital out in La Mesa, and I was slinging lattes out there. Uh, that's how we got our start. And started roasting coffee in 95, and learned very quickly that roasting coffee is a culinary art. Our coffee was not very good uh, when we first started roasting and it took a while to figure out what, what we're doing and, and uh, really learning the art of coffee. The people that work here are extremely passionate about what they do uh, and, and they really love coffee. Hi, my name is Heather. I am the coffee roaster here at Cafe Calabria and this is our production area and roast room. Um, we're going to head in here to the vault to check out the green coffee. It's about 72 degrees in here. Moisture levels, humidity, everything's controlled. Uh, exposing the coffee to too much heat is not good for it, so keeping our green uh, fresh and ready to go is uh, pretty important to us here. The proof's in the cup. It's just in the cup, so we sample every coffee, and then once we buy it, every batch of coffee that we roast, we take a sample out of it, and every morning in our cupping room, we're sampling coffee that we had roasted typically about three days previous. We want to let the coffee go ahead and degas so we get all the flavors that we're wanting out of the coffee, Keep making sure everything's very, very consistent. So right now we have Tanner here. He's getting ready to call up a batch. Um, this is our 1958 uh, Pro Bat. It's a 45 kilo roaster. Uh, Tanner and I have nicknamed the Beast as a uh, Holds a lot of power in the roast here. I kind of think they built them better then than they do now. It's kind of like your old cast iron skillet that your grandmother might have used, you know, that's very well seasoned, very, very heavy, so it gets a very even distribution of heat, which is very, very important. Every coffee is a little bit different. There'll be different moisture contents, different densities. Uh, the, the culinary art of coffee is you, you can get many, many different flavors out of the same coffee. Uh, I kind of like chocolate, so as the sugars start caramelizing, there's different notes we can create in the coffee. So we're always trying to pull out, you know, chocolate notes out of the coffee. So as the sugars are caramelizing, we go kind of from a hazelnut flavor to walnuts, vanilla, milk chocolate, dark chocolate. So, and that takes a lot of skill. So right now we're approaching the finish of the roast. Uh, at this point, uh, the, cur the sugars are caramelizing and rounding out the end, checking the development on the bean, making sure all the flavors have developed properly, and uh, soon we're gonna see our finished product. We'll get done roasting the coffee, blend it, and uh, everything goes out the same day we roast it. So freshness is key. Coffee's got, a, I think, a very short, shelf life so we want to make sure that the coffee is getting out of the roaster into the store and into the consumers home from here these beans are going straight into a tin and onto the shelves and ready to be consumed fresh roasted coffee